morning. Good morning. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. And also with you. Let us pray. Purify our conscience, Almighty God, by your daily visitation, that your Son, Jesus Christ, at his coming, may find in us a mansion prepared for himself, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Your throne 
shall be established forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Love, O Lord, will I sing. From age to age, my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness, for I am persuaded that your love is established forever. You have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. You spoke once in a vision and said to your faithful people, I have set the crown upon a warrior and have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. My hand will hold him fast and my arm will make him strong. No enemy shall deceive him, nor any wicked man bring him down. I will crush his foes before him and strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and love shall be with him, and he shall be victorious through my name. I shall make his dominion extended from the great sea to the river. He will say to me, you are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. A reading from Romans. Now to God who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages but is now disclosed and through the prophetic writings is made known to all the Gentiles according to the command of the eternal God to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God through Jesus Christ to whom be the glory forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who is said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord, Lord Christ. Christ. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. When our youngest son was old enough to know his birthday and how many months away it was, he started being incredibly helpful. If you are thinking about my birthday and are confused, he would say sweetly in January, I'm really thinking I might want a triple-deck military helicopter with all the guys in two teams and a boat it could land on. His birthday was in June. <laughs> yep, there's a reason that A Christmas Story was our favorite movie. Ralphie had nothing on the young Ralph Wilson. He knew early that Christmas was for everyone, but that his summer birthday was just his. We soberly received suggestions knowing that his four-year-old self would likely shift over the course of six months. And Graf mastered the art of waiting with a positive perspective unrivaled in the Northern Hemisphere. What is it about the fourth Sunday of Advent that makes us say, yes, hurry up already, out with the blue, in with the white, let's green the church, even before Advent 4, if it's midweek. Please do not think I am picking on you, beloved parish of our Savior. It has always been this way in every church. But even in this strange year, we find ourselves moving through Advent and trying to focus, but held helplessly in the claws of the list. You know what I mean. The task organizer which starts at Thanksgiving and continues through Epiphany. The tyranny of this list has us afraid to wait, afraid to listen, and afraid to stop. The focus on shopping doesn't help us push pause. Honestly, there's no judgment here. Retail therapy has been a part of many self-care plans because the family Christmas is remote in 2020. And this afternoon, we will magically turn the page even earlier in order to record the Christmas Eve service for our congregation. 
Only the idea that we will all take communion together is keeping me from the heartache of not gathering as usual. While procrastinating over this homily, having written the one for Christmas Eve first, which was just wrong, I dropped into the service that has long soothed my Advent Christmas tension. Lessons and carols at Sawani is something an extended community looks forward to every year. The lessons are beautifully read. The choir is always extraordinary. Their voices deflecting off of the marble and stone and glass. Between the candlelight and the largest advent wreath I have ever seen suspended over the crossing, I find a spiritual pause which refreshes my soul. Like everything everywhere, however, this year's service was different. Instead of two back-to-back -back packed liturgies, All Saints Chapel was restricted to very few participants at all times. The readers were filmed alone and allowed to be unmasked, splitting the lessons very effectively into sections. Only a small subset of the choir could be present at one time, masked, making each carol a chamber choir offering. Missing the usual string and woodwind support, only organ, percussion, and bells accompanied. The organ used only the simplest settings. Outside shots of the campus were stark reminders of COVID's presence, with only the infamous Sawani fog providing familiarity. But it would be so wrong to focus on what was spare or missing or even untraditional. I found myself focusing on what was present this year. The larger than usual number of readers were taken from a much broader group of students, faculty, and staff, reading with refreshing honesty and regionalism. It was beautiful. And the simplicity of the music reflected the reality we are all in now, while still managing to lift up Ralph Adams Cramp's chapel as a beacon for the holy. We make a mistake, I think, no, I know, to push our celebrations this year aside in our hurry to get to next year. There are gifts right here and right now. Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. New University Chaplain Peter Gray began the service teaching that Lessons of Carols was a little bit earlier, but first became beloved on Christmas Eve in 1918 at King's College, Cambridge. This happened during the Spanish flu pandemic and at the end of the First World War. Fear, devastation, and loss were countered by what scripture reveals about light and comfort and about being unafraid. These are the things we miss if we skip over Advent 4 in our hurry to get to Christmas. There is something about waiting, about focusing, And yes, Ralphie and preschool graph, even about looking forward to gifts that shapes the ways in which we walk our daily lives. This discipline allows us to remember that we are in the present and to note the blessings of being right here and right now. But we are also reminded we are part of the eternal song as the lesson from Samuel illustrates. Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, to be prince over my people, Israel. And I have been with you wherever you went, and have cut off all your enemies from before you. Mary may have been surprised to be expecting a baby, but she would not have been surprised 
about the Messiah's arrival. Do not fail to notice that Mary is perplexed, but unlike the shepherds we will hear about on Thursday, she is not afraid. Her life of faith prepared her for a moment, remarkable and awe-inspiring by all standards. And Mary was ready. Our collect for this Sunday petitions God to purify our conscience, Almighty God, by your daily visitation, that your Son Jesus Christ that is coming may find in us a mansion prepared for himself. Daily visitation implies habit on our part, and devotion, and yes, waiting. Mary tells the angel, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. As we understandably look ahead a few days, or even months, do not miss the significance of this day. It is in our desire to spend time with God every day that the waiting shapes us for what is to come. Amen. Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. of the people form four. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory in the world. We pray especially for the mothers in the world. Andrew, our bishop, and Jamie, our rector. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Give us all a reference for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. 
Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Bless all those whose lives are closely linked with ours, and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. We pray especially for those celebrating birthdays this week. Tony Hendricks, Judy Crozier, Sheila Kimmel, David Stringer, Elizabeth Bridges, Kimberly Cannon, Ryan Baker, and Jan Hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray also for those celebrating anniversaries this week. Jimmy and Jeannie Fitzpatrick, Jim and Deidre Landis, Jim and Anna Russell. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their trouble. And bring them to the joy of your salvation, especially Alice and Taylor. Taylor. Mike Murray, Francis Rouse, Marianne Mannheim, Jenny C. Myers, Delmar Long, Nancy Rattery, Diane Woods, and Mel Sanders, Simon Cannon, Jean and Ernst Upmeyer, Shirley Hunt, Forrest Wilkerson, Mike Spragans, Dondi Brown, Emma Mulch, Eddie Brown, the family, Alma Carrington, Elijah McCants, Howard Boyles, all who continue to be afflicted by COVID-19 and its effects. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend to your mercy all who have died, especially Maria Etsy. Johnny Johnson, Faye, Faye Branham, the Right Reverend Victor Kentsbury, Chase Hoops, and Tina Hall, that your will in them may be fulfilled, and we pray that we may share with all of your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, in your silent mercy, hear our yeah. prayer. We pray for our country and the world. Grant, O God, that your holy and life-giving Spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. 
and also with you.
week given thee. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right, it is a good and joyful thing always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you sent your beloved Son to redeem us from sin and death and to make us heirs in him of everlasting life. So when he shall come again in power and bring triumph to judge the world, we may without shame or fear rejoice to behold his appearing. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, with all the company of heaven, who for our sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, our Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son. The holy food and drink of you and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And in the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we have all to say. Our 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as new members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food, the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now to the world in peace and grant strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the sun of righteousness shine upon you and scatter the darkness from before your path. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. 